We're now live, and now it's time for the Long Beach History segment with our history reporter. Let's give it up for Christopher Murdy. Uh, this week I'm going to be continuing with the history of Island Park as we are again broadcasting from Island Park. Following the conclusion of the American Revolution, Island Park was restored to its state prior to the war. Farmers returned to the island to have their hogs graze the land and clamorous came to return to their private clam beds. Later, in 1870, the New York and Long Island Railroad laid the first track to cross the present-day Reynolds Channel between Island Park and Long Beach. This train was only in operation during the summer months. The local legend of Phineas Barnum being connected to the naming of Barnum Island is completely fiction, but it is often told as Phineas T. Barnum, Barnum became interested in the locale as a winter home for his circus and he bought the island in 1889. He built a home here for his frail sister Phoebe in about 1893 before removing his circus to wintering quarters in Bridge, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Phoebe Barnum lived in the building for a long for a few years before deeding it to Queens County for use as an an alms home. The story continued the story comes from Historical Review of Island Park, 50th Anniversary, 1926 to 1976. Phoebe Ann was fiction and Barnum died in 1891, making these events impossible. From 1910 to 1921, there were two different plans for the way Island Park would be developed. Next week I will discuss the results of these plans. Great job, Christopher Murdy! Good job, man. Great job. And uh, Chris is beginning his uh, freshman year at Regis High School, one of the most prestigious high schools in all of Manhattan. And um, I thought of a, 